Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Clara and I hope you are all doing great. Today I'm going to take you with us on a day trip to Würzburg in Germany. We are taking the 70 minutes train from Nuremberg. These both cities are located in Bavaria in Germany and we are just going to walk through the city and we will show you all the beautiful places. So it's time to go. See you there. Würzburg is a baroque city offering southern German flair and Franconian hospitality. Architectural masterpieces from various areas shape the cityscape. Würzburg is a pleasant harmony of history, culture and wine. As we started to walk from the train station, it took us about 10 minutes to our first stop and that is Julius Spital. It is a baroque hospital with a country yard and a church originally established in 1576. Today Julius Spital continues to function as a hospital and a retirement home. It is also the second largest winery in Germany and the biggest individual German wine grower at 177 hectares. North of the Spital is a park used also by the patients. It features a water basin which includes stone dolphins and allegorical figures for the Franconian rivers. And here you can see the Alte Anatomy. For the next stop was planned to get a coffee at the Café Wunschlos Glücklich, but there was no table free outside. I will leave you the link in the description, I would recommend that. And so we went to Wonder Waffle and we got two iced coffees and waffle with Nutella and fruit. Not gonna lie, I had the sugar shock, but it looks so good. Walking along just about two minutes to see the Maria Chapel, I am discovering this beautiful building on the right side and searching what it can be. It is the city library. Finally we are getting to Maria Chapel, it is a Roman Catholic church located at the Market Square. It was built in the Gothic style in the 14th century. The chapel is a mixture between a basilica and a whole church that was popular in the late Gothic period. Right now you are looking at the maypole. It is a tall wooden pole erected as a part of various European folk festivals, around which a maypole dance often takes place. The chapel was heavily damaged by the bombing of Würzburg in the World War II and its interior was destroyed by flames. It was rebuilt in the 1950s and reconsecrated in 1962. A major renovation took place in the 1996 till 2003. And look what we found right across from the Maria Chapel. This cute little street with the balloons over it. I would say this is the perfect Instagram spot for cute pictures. And as we walked along, we are seeing this beautiful piece of architecture, I hope I will say it correct. This is the Neumuster Collegiate Church. This church dates back to 1065 and built in Romanesque style. Later on, it was expanded and renovated to a Baroque style. Right next to the Neumannster Church is the Würzburger Cathedral. This is the Roman Catholic Cathedral with an over length of 103 meters. It is the fourth largest Romanesque church building in Germany and masterpiece of German architecture. It amazed me very much how big and beautiful it was inside. It was so clean, white and spacious. Just look at it guys. Thank you. 
Our next stop was Woodsburg residence with the court gardens and residence square. This beautiful palace is built in a baroque style following of the French style. The palace was built between 1720 and 1744. Interiors considered masterworks of Baroque, Rococo or Neoclassical architecture and art include the Grand Staircase, the Chapel and the Imperial Hall. The gardens and the representative rooms are open to public. If you remember the movie Three Musketeers from 2011, so some of the scenes were also filmed here at the Woodsburger residence. As we headed back to the city center to see the old main bridge, it took us 9 minutes and you are here seeing the old city hall and few more steps behind it is the beautiful old main bridge with a so beautiful atmosphere with lots of people drinking wine and enjoying the beautiful weather and you can see the view of the Marienberg fortress. The bridge was built between 1473 and 1543 to replace the destroyed Romanesque bridge dated from 1133. In two phases, beginning in the 1730, the bridge was adorned with the statues of saints and historically important figures. This place is really the heart of Würzburg. It doesn't matter when you visit this beautiful place, if in the afternoon or in the evening, it will be always the unique experience. And now it's time to go see the Marienberg fortress. There are two ways to go, so on the way up we are taking the 40 minutes way all around the beautiful wineries and on the way back we took the 20 minutes steep road. All the way you go around you have the views of the city of Würzburg and it's just really peaceful. You can see all the places which I showed you before, even behind there the residence of Würzburg and the old main bridge over there. There is also definitely more places to visit and I am already thinking maybe I could do a part 2 of this video. You can let me know in the comments below if you would be interested in it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Now let's talk a little bit about the history. The original castle on the Marienberg, a hill which was first settled in the late Bronze Age, was probably a small forge built early in the 8th century. The circular Marian Kapelle is one of the oldest church buildings in the South Germany and dates from around 1000. From 1200 an unusually large castle was built which was extended during the late Middle Ages and the Renaissance. In 1631 was built a circle of massive bastions which are the dominant features of the Marienberg fortress. The 1300 square meter princess garden is accessible from the castle courtyard. It was reconstructed in on the basis of plans dating from the early 18th century. And the best part comes right now guys and it's the dinner time. We have chosen this charming restaurant. It is the oldest winery in Würzburg and the name is Weinhaus Stachel. The food and the wine were just delicious and look at this place. I felt I am on a vacation somewhere in Greece. We were sitting in this little garden with the cute lights on. It felt very cozy and calm after all the long day of walking. I would really recommend also always book a table before because we were really lucky someone didn't make it for day reservation so we got the table but lots of people didn't. What a beautiful day trip guys! If you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this, hit the thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!